We are now going to examine aerodrome traffic zones or ATZs. They are established around many aerodromes for the protection of traffic operating at that airfield. An ATZ extends from the ground, i.e. aerodrome elevation, to 2,000 feet and is circular. The radius of the circle depends on the length of the longest runway at the airfield. If the runway is 1,850 metres or less, the radius of the ATZ is 2 nautical miles. If the runway is greater than 1,850 metres, the radius is 2.5 nautical miles. Please note that a KO does not specify the dimensions of an ATZ. These are decided and promulgated by the national authorities. The ones just quoted are for the UK. We will examine airspace classification in Unit 4. For now, suffice to say, ATZs are not given an airspace classification, but adopt the classification of the airspace within which they lie. All airports have an ATZ, although on aeronautical charts they are not depicted when they are within a control zone. Even where an ATZ is established around an aerodrome in uncontrolled airspace, we must not enter that ATZ unless we have obtained permission either from ATC or information from the Aerodrome Flight Information Service or Air Ground Station to enable the flight to continue safely. Whilst within an ATZ, a continuous watch on the appropriate radio frequency must be maintained. Additionally, the pilot must report his position and level on entering the zone and immediately before leaving it. In the AD section of the AIP, each licensed aerodrome is detailed. Runway declared distances are determined by the relevant aerodrome authority and published. These are of relevance when it comes to our performance planning, and it is essential that we determine that the distance we need to take off or land is not greater than the distance available. You will need to be familiar with the following terms. Takeoff run available, or TORA, is the length of the runway declared as available and suitable for the ground run of an aircraft taking off. Takeoff distance available, or TODA, is the length of the TORA plus the length of any clearway. A clearway is pretty self explanatory, but it is a defined rectangular area at the upwind end of a runway suitable for the initial climb out of aircraft. Normally, the Aerodrome Authority has the power to keep obstacles to a minimum in this area. The Accelerate Stop Distance, or ASDA, is the length of the TORA plus the length of any stopway. A stopway is a defined rectangular area on the ground at the end of the runway, which is prepared and suitable for an aircraft to be stopped in the event of an abandoned takeoff. And the landing distance available, or LDA, is the length of the runway declared as available and suitable for the ground run of an aircraft landing.